is up everybody hello it is i or expert now today we're going to be playing some arena of the heroes because why the fuck not right we got nothing better to do this week's kind of dead we have chaos arthur probably being announced the same time this video goes up so it's fine whatever we're on global baby we do what we want over here so we're going to be playing hero arena for the most of this week i'm going to make three separate videos because i'm probably going to take a uh, 10 to 15 minutes per statue if you know what i mean but we're going to go ahead and run through some good old fashioned <sighs> hero arena these are all the buffs for each character by the way this was probably the most seasonal buffs for one hero arena season ever because the collab came out and two characters were at it but yeah we're gonna go ahead and run through these we're gonna have a jihad team a yuri jihad team and then a shin team to finish off the trio of vids that we're gonna do for this hero we did for this week so why the fuck not because i really don't feel like playing pvp right now it's kind of boring and what do you call it chaos battle is not longer a thing i placed top 30 percent because i didn't really play that many matches but 30 percent, i got 30 gems i'll take what i can get and it's not that deep but yeah for the most part not a lot of videos in terms of what i can do and i really don't want to do no pvp stuff right now so i'm gonna have a little bit of fun trying out these stupid teams with an easier backlash i guess so we're gonna do master difficulty because i don't do challenger i don't do champion my box isn't crazy enough even though I have 12.5 million, I know, I know, it's crazy. But my characters aren't built the right way, I guess. I, I don't know. It's some. It's weird. It's weird for me. But you know, we're gonna go ahead and go crazy with um, Jihad for today, because this is a solid team for him, and he isn't a bad unit per se. He's just inconsistent as absolute fuck. So it's, he's in a weird boat. He, he is. He, he's in a, the weirdest boat of all time. Uh, but we're gonna make him work. And especially since he's buffed up in Hero Arena, his damage numbers are going to be looking pretty pretty. Because if you don't know, the seasonal heroes, if you can read, their stats are increased by 10% for every special hero that's alive on the battlefield. So, and for some reason, there's two of them. I don't know why that's a thing. But yeah, so basically, Jihad's stats are being increased by 20%, which is absolutely nuts. So we're just going to pop off with the boy. Now we're turn two. Let's go for the single target single target and just kill somebody with hell why not go ahead take her off the game Oop, 524k love to see it and then we take out somebody else randomly 263 the power of multipliers ladies and gentlemen let me move my mic a little bit okay i don't know what it is but i feel like my mic is a little lower than it should be i don't know why but i don't know what i did it's something about my mic. Uh, I gotta probably look at it. But yeah. So, for the most part, this is pretty much the video for today. But I guess we could talk about, you know, the recent leaks and shit like that being, you know, Chaos Arthur. Because again, this video is gonna go live the same day of the live stream. But the only difference is that this video is made the day before the live stream. This is Tuesday at the time we're recording this. And I guess I could put my thoughts out about Chaos Arthur. Beautiful damage, of course. But like,. I don't... I'm scared for him, okay? I am truly kind of scared about what they're going to do to my boy. There's a few things that comes into mind when I think about Chaos Arthur, and I guess I can run them down while I talk about it. The first thing is, Chaos Arthur is the last arc of Seven Deadly Sins, right? The final season ends on Chaos Arthur awakening, fighting the sins, and then him sort of getting his humanity back in check. The problem with that is now for the game. What are they gonna do now that they're technically done with Seven Deadly Sins? Are they going to keep adding characters they haven't added before? Are they gonna keep making variants of the characters we already have? We really don't have a roadmap because, you, you know, usually every festival is like someone relevant to the newest chapter of the game. And it, it's usually like that except for like one time where we got fucking king like six months before he was introduced in the story the the full wing king is what i mean so things like that could happen and it does kind of scare me a little because i don't know where they could possibly go to make the game still relevant now, of course, they can always go to the Fortnite to the Apocalypse side of things, and we can start getting the Fortnite to the Apocalypse character, starting off with Percival, the main character, and then we get probably his unit, which is the one guy that has the poison, Anne, Annie, Anne, 
the female protagonist, I guess. And then Donnie, which is, you know, Hauser's nephew, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. I haven't read it in a hot minute. So forgive me if I'm wrong on anything, but I'm assuming that's where we're going to end up going for said, you know, um, game, right? So we're probably not going to get any more new units. And if we haven't gotten a unit already, then it's probably not going to come up anytime soon. Which is very unfortunate because we're still missing characters like Wheelchair Gother, um, Grey Road, the adult um, Sariel, the female adult Sariel, Nerobasta, Denzel as a goddess. Like, there's a lot of actual niche characters. We still need a new Nanashi, bro. We haven't had a Nanashi since Jump. I don't think. I'm pretty sure the Nanashi we have is a day one character. And we have not even gotten a Nanashi on a banner. I could be wrong. Don't get me. I could be wrong. But bro we don't have any like actual fun characters in the game we haven't got a guild thunder we haven't got a a good hauser we got some pretty mid hausers the last house we got was festival gother and that hauser was abysmal he worked for one match and that was it but like there's still a lot of characters in the seven deadly sins universe that can be added to the game don't get me wrong and it would be cool to see them but you probably won't like it, and it's just that easy or I think I like ranked up the wrong person let me do it again but I'm like it's, it's just that simple we're not gonna see half of these characters so if you were hoping for like a berserk Meliodas probably not gonna happen for a long time um wild we could get wild that's another character that is on the chopping block he does have a kit you play with him in the story mode skinny Escanor he has a kit you play with him in the story mode but we don't see him so now that Chaos Arthur is going to be the final chapter of the Seven Deadly Sins arc, there's not, there's no telling where they're going to try to take it. There really isn't. It could go anywhere, let's be completely honest. We can go anywhere from staying in the Seven Deadly Sins universe to jumping over to Fortnite the Apocalypse. The reason that I, why I don't think they're going to go to the Fortnite the Apocalypse era, though, at least not the immediate next festival type of deal, is because... We still have a lot of characters, obviously, and then they also have Seven Deadly Sins Origins coming. I don't think they want to, you know, hop over to that bandwagon just yet because the Origins game, I don't even think it has a release date yet. I could be wrong again. I don't know the exact like information on that, but it doesn't even have a release date, bro. They're tanking really well, Jesus. Oh my God. So. For them to straight up go from Chaos Arthur into the Fortnite to make like Percival the next festival would just be weird. Cause that would also kill a little bit of the hype for Seven Deadly Sins Origins when that drops. Because we already seen it for the most part. There are new animations in the Origins game and new characters obviously, but there are some assets taken from Grand Cross and put implemented into Origins. Like some of their PNGs and stuff like that. So there is still a pretty interesting chance that we just, you know, don't get the Fortnite characters since Origins is still being worked on. And I would think that they would drop Origins before they add Fortnite the Apocalypse characters into this game. That is my thought. Ooh, 1.7 mil. Okay. Good job, Jihad. So it's just very funny to me, in a way. And it confuses me also. So that's one reason why this Chaos Arthur kind of scares me. And now going into the other reason, because that was a nice little rant there. The other reason Chaos Arthur kind of scares me is because I don't know why, but a lot of people in my Discord have like have been saying, if you don't know, bro, join the Discord, bro. The Discord be fire. We be talking about anything anime, anything in life, all right? We don't talk just seven at least since we be just vibing in there. It's like a little family. Join the Discord. You have a good time, trust. But when I was talking to my Discord, earlier today or yesterday i don't exactly remember we've been talking about chaos art their speculations and apparently there is rumors that arthur's going to be an unknown unit <sighs> it, it, it hurts this here it really does because we all know arthur is a fucking human just because he's chaos arthur does not change his race okay so there, that was a debate in my discord and i'm just like my like my personal thoughts he's going to be human if they make him unknown the game is over it's over people are going to be so pissed 
but for some reason people are actually even enjoying the thought of him being an unknown character and i'm telling you now he's it's not gonna happen he will be a human there is no chance in hell that the net marble devs fumble the easiest plot line in existence that hard because we all know when it comes to the homie um arthur he is a human he does not change race just because he gets chaos powers awakening he is still a human because in the, even in the Fortnite TD Apocalypse storyline, a little bit of spoiler territory, so probably skip ahead if you actually are paying attention to what I'm saying. But for spo story spoilers, Arthur's whole motive is to have all humans in his kingdom. He does not want any um, fairies, demons, giants, goddesses, or unknown whatever that would be. He wants only humans. He wants a strictly human-based kingdom that can topple over the other races. So why the hell would they make him unknown? I don't know. I really don't. Oh my god, Gopher's dead. I got my buff removed. Oh no. I didn't realize he was gonna die there, Jesus. Alright, whatever. We can still got the boy. But yeah, like, if they actually managed to make that man unknown, it would be insane. The backlash from that would be catastrophic. The boycott would be like assault melee levels of boycotting. <laughs> and people are going to quit so fast because Chaos Arthur is probably the most hype thing in existence for the Seven Deadly Sins universe. And if they fuck that up, it's over. And that's not even counting like just them fucking it up. That's also counting like what if his kid sucks? What if he's not good? What if he's just actually bleh? <laughs> that would be very bad. That would be insanely, insanely bad. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I was gonna say, where did um Tear go? Now, I'm not worried about going second since I lost Gother because my Albedo is still standing up, so I'm not worried about it. That being said, I could die. If I die here, that would be depressing. I'm not doing it again because I already had my tangent, and unfortunately, that's just going to be the video instead of me, like, focusing. Uh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um. What the fuck? Okay. Cool. <laughs> they just got one tap. It's fine though because we'll just throw in another team and call it a day. But yeah, for, like Jihad works. Okay, don't let. I don't know what the fuck happened there. It's because Gother died and I wasn't paying attention to my Gother cards or anything like that. I guess I don't know what happened to be exactly honest. But don't let us. Don't let it trip. Don't let you trip because he's still good. So I'm just gonna throw this team on and finish the video like this because hey man things happen mistakes were made and i was paying attention and gother died somehow and i really don't even know how he died i just saw him like poof and there he is so we're just gonna ignore what just happened there and we're just gonna go ahead and slot in you know some um a fairy team and just kill this team yeah yeah um yeah yeah uh, hopefully the fairy team works if the fairy team doesn't work then i'm cooked because I gotta restart it, and that's just gonna be the video like that. But yeah, for the most part, this is really a Chaos Arthur rant. So yeah, it is what it is. At the end of the day, we can't really stop them until we know what's happening, which would be tomorrow slash today when this video goes up. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how bad we get fucked. So let's go ahead and uh, single target. Boom. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. Let's do this. We AoE with King, and then we go in with a Yes. 94k. Should kill him. I don't gotta worry about that anymore. 393. Then just kill him. Sigurd, please. Oh, that works, I guess. Unless I don't kill. Beautiful. That works. See? It was that easy. The comeback. <laughs> uh, but, like, genuinely. I don't know. Chaos Arthur has a lot of ifs in the air about him, and unfortunately for me, we gotta wait on like less than 24 hours to find out if those ifs are indeed to be warranted or not to be warranted. Until then, though, we'll just have to fucking play around and find out. Hopefully, though, like, I don't have any, like, kit I would like to see him use. Like, I, like, I genuinely don't know what I would like for him as a character, so I couldn't give you my honest opinion on that part. <clears throat> Oh, I killed. Good job. 
so I'm really just out here speculating like, you know, he'll be cool, but we already know he's going to be a human buffer, and he's going to be a frontline DPS, and he's probably going to have an insane passive that has something to do with the power of chaos, which would be like, I, I would imagine, like, j just off the top of my head, I can imagine him having a passive that, like, every turn is a different debuff on all enemies and it's and all the debuffs are very unique to him kind of like how merlin is but the thing is the debuffs are way more toxic and way more op like for like it'll randomly generate between the three units every turn the debuff can be cleansed and all debuffs will re be removed in one turn but like i can imagine him putting out like oh one character on your team is stunned one character on your team is par- well not paralyzed, um, what's it called? Fucking shock debuffed. The other person on your team is like, he can't use rank two or threes. Something like that. That's That would be a fun Arthur to play with, but in reality, that's definitely not gonna happen because Netmarble doesn't know how to have fun. So, again, this is all speculation and this video is gonna probably go live while the live stream is going, so... If I'm right about any of that, that would be fucking hilarious. But he's going to be a dark character, I would imagine. I think he's going to be dark. He's going to have an insane passive with a unique debuff, which we don't know what it's going to be, but he's going to have it 1000%. He's going to be either a human buffer or he's going to buff his own stats based on however many humans are on his team. He's gonna probably gonna do an all stat increase for each human on the team or each human on the battlefield. That is my guess. And then finally, his ultimate's going to be an AOE expel. <laughs> it's going to be an AOE expel like hawk. <laughs> and he's gonna cook. He's gonna cook. But nah, like actually, that, if that any of that's true, hey bro, you heard it here first. I'm just saying they they um they somehow got my files before I even got them. So yeah, that, that's a good time. But that's the video for today. We tried Jihad, and he is good. Don't get me wrong. I've just fumbled at that last match, and it's just that simple. So that's going to be the video for today. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. And I will be running the second tier to day after this goes out with my Jihad team, which if you want to see, this is the team I'm going to run because this is the team I use to clear it all the time. This team is actually kind of nice in a 4v4 scenario. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it there. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, and have a wonderful day. Peace.